Hi folks, it's Philip Andrews here for the Photoshop Elements team and in this session we're going to be looking at a couple of the new features inside Photoshop Elements 11 that allow you to create sophisticated blur techniques with a whole lot of ease. So let's start off with this image here. It's an image of a uh, graveyard and we want to add a little bit of mystique, a little bit of interest to the image and so we're going to use one of the new features in the guided edit workspace. If we just go to the photo FX area and then down to tilt shift. Click on tilt shift and as with all the features in the guided edit workspace we have a step by step and the tools needed to take us through the technique all in the one pane on the right hand side. We also have a before and after thumbnail at the top and you can see here it looks like the San Fran skyline and you'll see that we've got the ability to create an area of blur and keep one part of the image sharp. It's called Tilt Shift because it replicates the look that you get when you're using a monorail camera and a shallow depth of field. So the first thing we do is just click on the Add Tilt Shift button and you'll see that we have the effect applied to the image straight away. Don't panic if it's not in the right area because that's what the next two controls are about. The second step is to modify the focus area so we'll select that and then just click and drag across part of the image in order to adjust where the focus is happening. So you can see as I'm clicking and dragging across we're getting different effects in terms of which parts of the image are sharp and which parts of the image are blurred. So it's really up to you where you place this, but keep in mind what we're trying to do is create a more visually interesting image with some parts of the picture sharp and with some parts of the picture blurred. So there we go, that's looking pretty good. Now we can refine the effect, which is the third step. And this basically gives us three slider controls to adjust the strength of the blur. So as I move up the blur slider, we can adjust the strength of the blur, the contrast in the blurred areas, and also how saturated those blurred areas are. So we can drop down the saturation a little bit and pull out some of the color. And there we have it. If I just click done now, drop down the photo bin and look at before and after, you'll see the differences between the two images. But that's only one of the new blur effects that we have inside Photoshop Elements 11. Let's look at the second one now. If we have a look at this image here, you see we've got a great statue sitting in and amongst a range of different objects in a flea market. If we want that statue to actually stand out, well then we could drop down the background or the, the objects around, we could make them a little blurrier in the photo to make, make the statue a little more prominent. So to start off with, we're going to grab the background layer and drag it up to the new layer button in the top of the layers panel. You see now we have a copy here of the background. Next we're going to build a selection around just the statue. One of the best ways to do that is to use the quick selection tool. I'm going to click the tool options so that we have a good preview of the image and then I'm just going to drag the quick selection tool around the statue. You can see it's doing a pretty good job of snapping to the edge couple of places it's gone over. We'll just hold down the Alt or the Op key and move back over those areas just so we can try and snap to the edge of, of the statue. That's looking pretty good. Go back into the tool options and click on Refine Edge. Add a little bit of feather just to soften the edge a little bit. Add in Smart Radius just a touch and that's all look pretty good. Let's click OK. We have a selection now of just the foreground we want to actually select the background here, so we'll go up to Select and then down to Inverse. So now we have just the background selected. Let's create a layer mask from that by just clicking on the Add Layer Mask button and you can see it there. Now we're all set to go. Let's make sure that we've selected the image part of this layer entry, not the mask. Go up to Filter and then down to Blur and across to Lens Blur. You can see that this part of the image is being blurred. Make sure that invert is not turned on and that will flip our blur around. You can see the background is now being blurred and the foreground is nice and sharp. We can adjust the strength of that blur by changing the radius slider. We can also change the look of, of the blur by changing the other slider controls that you can see here. 
keep in mind that we have the layer mask selected as a way of telling what part of the image is going to be sharp and what part of the image is going to be blurred. That's all looking pretty good now. Just going to click OK to apply that to our image. So now we have an image where the statue is nice and sharp and the rest of the picture is not sharp. So this is a way that you can get more control over how you blur your images and in particular which parts of those images are blurred and which parts remain sharp.